Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zach Aguilar and I play Colt in Hunter Hunter. I didn't really actually know too much about the character, but uh, just hearing about the series, I had heard that this arc was going to be um, very dark and it's probably like one of the darkest in, in the series. So I was kind of like prepared to take on, you know, some some kind of like darker character. At first glance, I kind of, you know, I looked at his character design, which was awesome, by the way. Um, and I was like, oh, this guy, oh, I bet this guy's a villain. Like, this is going to be sweet to like, you know, I don't know, get to uh, like, you know, play an evil role because it's always fun playing a villain. I think what's kind of cool, like, personally, um, is to see kind of, like, Colt values, like, uh, like his, like, family and his own, like, kind of belief before, uh, like, the, the race and the rank and, like, and all of that in the show. And so I think, like, I think that was just kind of relatable. It, it's it's kind of like, a, like, put your friends and family before, like, your job sort of type thing because, like, because those are the people that, like, that's what really matters. So I, I kind of, like, related to that, I guess, in, in, in a sense. Oh yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was pretty that was pretty funny. Um, uh, it's it's just it's so interesting. I think especially with this show because like they all have like these different these different sides to them, which I think is kind of cool to like you know to react off off of like you know one guy's like rowdy and then someone else is like maybe kind of quiet and it's just like I don't know. It, it makes it fun. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little strange. I, I think at first it was it was definitely really strange to me, but then um but then kind of once I found out what was going on, like I guess I didn't entirely see the the Ant Queen as like a like a villain. I guess it was more kind of like she's just doing what 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 is in her instinct to kind of do. So I guess um I guess I kind of had to like adopt that uh, in my mentality playing Colt. So it wasn't kind of like, it wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm doing like evil stuff. Like every single time, like we go out and do something or I tell someone to go do something. It's not like it's, it's evil all the time. Like, it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, this is just what, like, you know, they just, what they're bred to do, you know, it's just in their, uh, their DNA, you know? I think some of it, you know, like when you're playing these characters and stuff, like you really get into it and you get into their uh, their mentality of the whole thing. So definitely, I'm just sometimes I was kind of like, yeah, you know, I hope we I hope we win. And then I'm then I get out of the booth. I'm like, wait, what about, what was I talking about? I'm I'm freaking I'm horrible. I'm a horrible person. Wait, I'm a human. I'm not a chimera. Ant. Definitely, definitely. So, um, so I think like, I, I think that's the thing is that like, they're not all just like, you know, like flat out like evil or, or bad, but it's, it, it definitely like the human that they ate, like they do take on, you know, the personality, like they have their own thoughts and opinions on it. And they realize like, hey, like, I know we're ordered to do this, but I mean, like, maybe this isn't like the right, you know, the right thing. And they're trying to figure out like what, what is right, what they think in their own mind, what is right, instead of just like, obeying everything. Yeah, um, I, I definitely think so. And and I think, like, I think Colt's humanity kind of, like, within him also makes him smarter, if that makes sense. Like, he thinks things out, too. He's not just, like, a, he's not, like, a mindless warrior, if that makes sense. Uh, for sure, the for sure. I mean, there's there's tons of moments like that where I'm just kind of like, huh, like I kind of wish I could just like, eh, you know, kick this guy off my squad and just kind of like, you know, I don't know, just make him go somewhere else. <laughs> Can I trade him in? Are they like trading cards? Just like trade him. Uh, there were, there were so many good moments, but I think uh, I think one of the most emotional ones was um was when the ant queen dies. And it's just because it was just like, I, I don't know why it would be like my favorite moment, but it was, it was, uh, it was like the, definitely like the most memorable, I think. Um, it was just really emotional kind of even for me too, because like this entire time I've been playing this character serving the queen. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, she's dying and she like tells me like, you know, her, her dying wishes and everything. And I'm just like, I mean, it was, it, it hit us all, I think, even, even in the booth.
I think I think it was mostly yeah like at the it was mostly on like that on that queen one it's so funny that's where I was like kind of uh I was kind of like messing up a bit and I really got into this I mean this this role was definitely uh it's not what I expected at all you know like I I said I thought he was going to be some villain I didn't realize he had so much more to him which I mean is just it's awesome I guess kind of, but then at the same time, like I was, I was on Colt's side. I was like, oh, I don't really want to, I don't really want to fight them. Okay, so this is probably gonna be super weird, but uh, you know, I think I would be like, uh, <laughs> could I be like part jellyfish and part wolf? So okay, so jellyfish because like I've heard that like there's a certain jellyfish out there that's like immortal, right? And so I'm like, oh okay, cool. Like I'll take the like immortal trait, and then I'll just be a a wolf because they're freaking awesome. Yes. Hey, you know I didn't even think about that. That is a good. That's and when you're like when the wolf bites you, you get like stung and then you have like, I don't know, maybe a few hours to live or something if you're like an extremely poisonous jellyfish. The most fun thing. Um, I mean, there was a time when I got punched in the face, but I don't know if that really counts as fun. Maybe. I think it was um was R Remote who like, who punched me in the face or something. He punched my character in the face and... And I remember he's just like, whoa, what is all that, all that power? I just remember he's like powering up or something. I don't want to be punched in the face, but I mean, like, get, I, getting, having your character getting punched in the face. I don't know. I guess I was like, oh, yeah, now my character is going to kick his butt. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the show. I mean... Uh, we've been having so much fun working on it and everyone everyone cast and crew everyone's worked so hard on the show so I mean uh, thank you guys for watching and tuning in to uh, to Toonami and live tweeting and just like um, just really showing your love for the show because I think it gives everyone just like that just that full circle type feel where it's just like wow like we've been working on this show you know for such a long time and then then everyone sees it because sometimes as an actor, you know, we're just we're in the booth and we're we're by ourselves, you know, we're just kind of like shouting into the void. And then we we just hope that people like it whenever they see it. So I think getting that that like reassurance and people saying like, yeah, like that was an awesome job on the show. And like, you know, that's that's just the, the greatest thing ever. So so thank you guys so much for uh, for supporting the show.